Okay, so as promised, uh, amazing things happening. Experiences here at the Tellus World of Science. We're in the Body Fantastic area. Um, and this is where, like, you can see big noses and understand your tongue and all of its taste buds. Things come to life here, uh, and it's such a great place to come during the holiday season, during the winter season, actually. Uh, it is wonderful. And there's always something engaging or someone engaging to meet and of course we've been hanging out with Sam who has brought one of her besties out and who is this? This is Iggy. Full name is Ignacio. Okay, all He's right. The most interesting lizard in the world. Okay, for real? For real. Okay. Well, he thinks so. Oh yeah, of course. He yeah. thinks so. Um, so he's a bearded dragon. And you can see he does not breathe fire, but he does have some pretty awesome scales and spikes on him. If you're willing, you can touch these little spikes on his side. Is that okay? Is that okay. Does he mind that? No, not at all. Oh, they're soft. They're super soft. Ooh. So he looks a lot fiercer than he actually is. Well, because he looks like he's looking at me right now, but I don't yeah. know. <laughs> he is might he? be. He might be. <laughs> like great red sweater, Bridge. Um, how old is Iggy? Iggy's about five years old now. So when we got him, he was maybe half a third of the size he is now. He's grown quite a bit in five years. Will he grow more? Um, I think he's pretty much maxed out at this point. And what does he eat? Like, what's his daily diet? Um, he is an omnivore. So, oh. like us, he eats both meat and vegetable products. Uh, he likes kale, so we feed him a lot of kale. How very on trend. Yes. Way to go, Iggy. Yes. He's, um, and obviously he's a massive, I mean, besides it's sort of an engagement, but he's a massive learning tool, I would think, for a lot of what you do here. Yes, he definitely is. So, it's really interesting to people to learn, for example, that his spikes aren't actually very tough. They're not hard. Um, his main method of defense is actually his tail. So if you take a look at his tail, you can see that it ends in a um, like a pretty sharp point. Yeah. And it is quite hard. So he can whip this tail and get it up to speed really quickly. And he manages to to get rid of predators or people who might hurt him using his tail. Interesting. And um, and you were just saying before he's he's quite comfortable in your arms because he's cold blooded. Yes. He's a reptile, so he is cold-blooded. He doesn't make his own heat like we do, so he relies on other things for heat. In the wild, it would be the sun baking rocks that he might go and sit on. Is that why you always see them like lying on in the middle of like a desert? I mean, it's a bit cliche, but is that where you'd find them? That is exactly. He's a desert-dwelling animal, huh. so he he needs those those warm rocks to warm him up. Uh, right now, he's using me to warm him up. So, he... so cool. This is another great thing here. This is like I think it's called a critter encounter. Yes, our animal encounters. We do them every day during the holidays at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Awesome. So cool. Just another great reason to come on down here. Uh, stick around. Thank you so much, Sam. It's been totally cool hanging out with you. Thank you. This was a blast. All right. So we're going to go into the next galley, uh, gallery rather, uh, in the next hour. So make sure you tune in. More DT after this.